Hi everyone. Hi Dr. Vineet. Hello sir. Well, welcome to our show. Uh, it's really great to have you here. Uh, congratulations first of all. It's quite a big deal uh, to get into this Premier Institute. Uh, hearty hearty congratulations. Thank you so much. So can you just begin by uh, telling uh, where you are from? What did you do here? Uh, UG and PG and all of that. Hello everyone. My name is uh, Vineet Kumar. I am from Bangalore. I did my MBBS from Bangalore Medical College and uh, I am currently pursuing MD Internal Medicine in PJMER Chandigarh. I am still pursuing it. Uh, my course will be over by June 2023, next month. Wow. wow. That's really nice. Really nice. So, which means you have not given your university exam still, is it? Uh, ha exams happened uh, last week, sir. Just, okay, uh, okay, okay. So your interviews kind of coincided with your uh, university exam in some ways. Uh, I last month, sir. Uh, sorry, it was last month. It coincided okay. with the D exam. It was one uh, day after. Coincided with the uh, written exam of the DM. Oh, the first. Oh, nice. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, that's quite a big thing because uh, to give the exam, uh, to give to do your MD course and then parallelly crack the exam is quite a difficult thing especially in a business center like PGA so hats off for that I think everyone will be quite interested to know how you went about it uh, how you went about your preparations uh, especially amidst your uh, uh, busy schedule of doing the internship so can you just briefly tell me how you went about this were you focused on getting into a getting into the initiate exam itself or were you broadly preparing for medical oncology from an ETSS point of view or you were just doing your course properly and you ended up with the seat like to know how you went about it i initially had no plans of preparing for uh, dm only sir i had not decided my subject of choice sir. i was okay. doing yeah, i was working in each department i was seeing pros and cons of each department and okay. uh, i was initially interested in cardio gastro and mm -hmm. it, uh, uh, we have a very good uh, hemat oncology department yeah here. yeah of course, so of course. here uh, I got interested in hematology and mm -hmm. I, uh, uh, because of the recent advances in oncology, I got interested in oncology and I got interested in oncology in this year, Jan itself, sir. Okay. So okay. I seriously decided in the month of Feb. Uh, okay. So I did oncology and uh, I started preparing uh, along with my MD final exams. MD final exams were from April 25 to 28. 29 mm -hmm. was the deep maintenance examination. It coincided. Okay. It was just like one day after the my theory exams. So okay. in, I have to prepare for my MD exams. I thought I'll mm -hmm. seriously for uh, DM oncology as well. So okay. initially I was not sure of the subject. So I had uh, taken marrow subscription one year back itself. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, as marrow has all uh, super specialty plans where you can choose the subject later. You can prepare for everything. Okay. So after deciding oncology, I started seeing your videos and uh, started making notes of the oncology and uh, hematology. I didn't read any oncology books. I read only Harrison oncology part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That uh, hematology I read from uh, uh, Harrison itself. Oncology, uh, most of it I saw your videos and notes were quite enough for oncology part. Okay, okay, okay. Good to know that. Good to know. Sure. So, uh, you know, from a MD Medicine University exam point of view, I know that they don't ask much of solid organ uh, malignancies. Uh, yes. Most of our medicine questions will be focused on hematology. You don't, I'm quite sure you wouldn't even have one question from breast cancer or uterine cancer or not even lung cancer probably. So, did you have an issue balancing the solid organ part of the preparation and the uh, your MD Medicine per se? How did you actually uh, usually for university exams no one has to prepare for uh, like lung cancer liver cancer but uh, in pgi we used to see lung cancer liver cancer in our specialty departments like hepatology and pulmonology so i had a basic okay. idea so i was interested in reading that part initially so that uh, i had given time for oncology even if uh, it was not important for my university exams that's and good, that's good. So you, um, you did dedicate time separately for your preparations, right? For your any set oriented preparation. Oh, really yes, okay. During MD preparation only, I had given some time for oncology also. Irrespective okay. of okay. the 
even i had prepared for oncology as well okay uh, and your onco preparation was primarily based on marrow notes is it rather than any textbooks it was primarily based on marrow videos and harrison's uh, only harrison's have it sir okay okay awesome really good really good okay and uh, what did you go through the mcqs did you have any strategy to of solving mcqs and clinical questions or you were just trying to learn the subject and then taking it forward from there did you have any no, focused sir. mcq plan actually i had given a grand test of oncology before starting mm -hmm. my preparation so i was scoring okay. very well. so uh, i thought my basics are good in oncology so i started mm -hmm. preparing seriously and uh, my ranks also improved in grand test in oncology i i mm -hmm. gave uh, mm -hmm. all the grand tests that are there in app for oncology so i got okay. confident okay. started preparing seriously okay okay i would like to know how was the uh, how was the question pattern from the in the first part of the initiative uh, uh, how much into how much of depths were they going into and uh, all those kind of stuff whether it was predominantly harrison based or they were going to higher levels were they getting into the intricacies of management so how did you have an overall feel of the uh, question paper question paper was uh, more on practical level sir like uh, okay. what are the effects of high dose busulfan uh, how do you manage tumor lysis syndrome like that and uh, it was more of basic harrison's oncology if you read the basics it will be enough and uh, for solid oncology uh, the management part was not that important there were few questions okay. on management only few questions remaining you can mm -hmm. answer by basics itself okay the questions were mostly at a, the management part was mostly at a basic level is it yeah only basic level okay. management so mostly other things were the management were general oncology stuff like tumor lysis and infections and all of that and there was a very uh, hematology part was also like uh, at least 30 25 to 30 questions were from hematology also they okay. were also okay. Okay. hematology questions you mean malignant hematology right yeah, malignant leukemia related yeah yeah leukemia related so there was a good good lot of malignant hematology and uh, a good lot of general oncology with some focus on uh, specific malignancies also yes sir. yes sir okay, okay. fine 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 okay then uh, did you have were you preparing for neat tests also parallelly or you were focused on any set because you were anyway doing the i i had no plans of preparing for dm actually i was preparing for my md final exams then i decided okay. i will give it for dm entrance because it was coinciding with my exams uh -huh. so Okay. Okay. I okay. thought I I get after. I get your journey is quite different. I believe most people would have uh, most uh, candidates will finish their MD then take maybe a few yes. months to figure out what they want. Uh, they will go through a confusion of whether to focus on neat tests or any set and then make so that confusion is always there. No, because now we are having two different models. Now neat test is having a totally different. You have yes. having a predominantly Harrison based general medicine and the any set paper is now a super specialty based exam. So. i thought i can get a clarity on how you went about it but then since your journey is quite different and you cracked it quite early in your career so i think that question doesn't really apply to you here i believe <laughs> yeah yeah i was from pj so, i always tried to give seriously for okay. uh, itself so i had not seriously I, thought of this totally totally i understand understand so uh, uh, if for others who are preparing uh, fr from a broad point of view as someone who has just given the exams uh, what do you want to tell the other candidates you know so someone who has finished their md and probably want medical oncology so they want to prepare for any set at one level and they also want to you know uh, they don't want they don't want to exclusively focus on any set but they want to give the neat tests also so i think they will have this issue of trying to balance and i feel that that balancing act becomes more difficult for medical oncology aspirants because uh, that hardcore oncology is not going to be a big part of your base of your core general medicine right so uh, for someone who is preparing for cardiology or hematology or rheumatology it's easier because that core okay. of those subjects is anyway required for your uh, neat tests also but someone who is focused on someone from an md medicine background who is looking for a dm med donc seat i think it's it's a little difficult to balance between this neat neat as a stream and any set as a stream and i think it will be quite specific to our specialty so what do you want to tell them as someone who has just passed out what do you think can be a good strategy 
I would tell them at least uh, uh, be thorough with the Harrison, Harrison part of mm-hmm. Hong Kong, as well as complete Harrison, so that uh, neat essays will be covered. For oncology mm-hmm. part, uh, you can make your notes of solid oncology. Hematology is always important for both neat essays as well as in DM. And uh, in neat uh, INI also there were twenty five questions from medicine. So anyways, okay. you should from Harrison. So okay, understand. Understand. Okay. Okay. You you were following the hematology videos also, right? Because I have not been covering hematology in my uh, videos. I have been predominantly focusing on the solid organ part. So you have been following both hematology and uh, medic medical oncology videos uh, from Mero. Is it only medical oncology, sir? I I read ha- hematology from Harris himself, and uh, oh, oh, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. 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 And I would like to know how your interview was. Uh, how did you? Uh, how did the second part of the reset go about it? What were they asking and all uh, those? I attended a live session from you, sir. It was a marrow uh, mock uh, interview session. You had I remember told you me. asked me how to get the epidemiology yeah. part of it, and I sent you something. I remember, yeah. I had texted you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you told me what all to read. Uh, you told me how to like basic stuff, febrile neutropenia, and all other stuffs. You told. I had. Uh, I was preparing in that lines itself, and the. Second part of interview actually it was very simple, sir. They asked some basic questions. Uh, mm-hmm. I had prepared well, but I was confident they asked some very basic questions which can be answered by anyone after reading this much, and uh, it was fine, sir. Uh, they they okay, didn't ask okay. any oncology management part. It was basic. Uh, okay. Okay. It was it, it was not hardcore oncology, is it? It was more of a general level questions. Yes. Okay. Did they ask give you any case based discussions? Uh, give you a clinical image or a clinical scenario and ask you to discuss, or just more like a casual viva kind of a discussion? They they gave me a case scenario, sir. They 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 told an altered uh, mental altered sensorium patient in with lung cancer presenting to emergency. How will you approach the case? They gave a case oh, scenario. Nice. Okay, okay. Oh, but even that was more like a broad general medicine yes. kind of a thing. It was not a hardcore oncology thing. Yes, sir. Uh, you can, from a physician point of view, you can answer those questions. No, I mean, uh, altered sensory media, C L N. Oh, that's nice. Okay, okay. Then, so I think that's pretty much about it. Uh, welcome to the club. Uh, medical Thank oncology you. is going to be a uh, uh, going to be an emotionally taxing field in many ways. it will be challenging it's probably the one of the most dynamic fields in uh, currently in amongst all the specialties uh, you cannot now you can never really rest even after 3 4 or 3 or 4 years of passing out i'm still trying to learn almost every day you can learn from your social media you can learn from your peer groups you have to keep attending the conferences uh, the management of lung cancer for example because we just said lung cancer what was 2 years back has now become redundant we are now looking at totally different paradigms by the time you pass out and start your practice it will be something else altogether so it's going to be challenging it will be emotionally taxing invariably you will have a lot of morbidity and mortality but i think you are equipped enough having gone through the rigors of uh, training and you have already exposed to the uh, eminent institutes in the country you will be able to come out in flying colors so yeah welcome to the club i really hope that we can uh, bump into each other in some of the conferences upcoming conferences uh, nice talking to you congrats again all the best thank you